guys welcome to my channel so today I'm going to be cleaning out this bed I do have my mini chainsaw because some of these broccoli stems are really thick so I want to go ahead and cut them down and clear out this bed I don't know exactly what I'm going to grow in this bed but I know it's time for those brassicas to leave Now, I will be using them in my compost, so don't worry, I'm not just throwing them in the trash. They will eventually go back to the earth. Now, I do have my Russian red kale in the center of the bed, and I will not be taking it out because that thing is looking gorgeous still, and it hasn't bolted, and I'm still able to harvest from it. So I just want to make sure I clean up this bed pretty good. So now I'm just taking my hoe and I'm just tilling up the ground a little bit. Uh, it's getting some air to the roots. Now some people don't do any tilling or you're messing with the microorganisms underneath. But me, I do. I go ahead. I know some of the earthworms may be unalived, but they'll go back into the earth. So, you know, earth. The earthworm castings. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do like to till up a little around them just to give some air to the roots. Because sometimes the soil can get compacted. I don't really use perlite um, in my beds. I haven't. And so it does get compacted. So I just like to give a little aeration to it. Okay, so I'm going to refresh my beds with this potting soil, planting soil. Um, yeah, this is a new brand. I haven't used it before, but we're going to see how it does in this bed. Okay, so now I'm just going to spread the soil all around so it can get even out. I like to make sure I put it all around the plants so that it will be able to reach their roots out to it. Okay guys, so let's work on our soil mixture. 
So I'm going to start off with this black cow. I have been using it for a couple of years and it works great for my plants. I'm just using my mini swimming, swimming pool and we're going to fill some black cow in there. And then this product here, I had never used before. It's called um, Garden Soil. Let me show you. So when I poured it out some, I mean, pretty much it looked like a bag of wood chips, like shredded wood. <laughs> and I'm like, where's the soil in this? So I was on the phone and I was like, what is going on with this stuff? <laughs> it wasn't that expensive, but it just took me by surprise. And I was like, let me see what's in this. So I decided to go ahead and put it in there because it is, um, what it is, is forest material. So it's a lot of wood shavings and things like that. So it's a, it's a good product. <laughs> and I'm going to put this play sand in here. So the play sand kind of keeps the, the soil broken up. It's great to use if you make if you're gonna grow carrots um, because the sand helps the carrots to be able to go through the the um, soil. I am confusing this stuff up. Anyway, <laughs> the sand helps the carrots roots be able to just go down deep like they need to because the soil is broken up more. Y'all, y'all know. <laughs> Anyway, I'm mixing this up, and this is what I will use in my containers, and also I'm going to spread some in my raised beds. Okay, so now I'm just making sure all the big clumps that's in there are kind of broken down, and this is what I'll use for my containers and my raised bed. Have a great day. Bye.